Well, it's once again closing time here in John Kay's bookshop. And tonight I'd like to talk to you about trigger warnings. Ray Fiennes, fresh off his excellent uh, Macbeth, which is moving from up here in Edinburgh down to London, has been on the interview circuit and he was uh, interviewed on the BBC the other day about trigger warnings in the theatre, amongst other things. And uh, he was basically against them. He was saying modern audiences have got too soft and that uh, trigger warnings spoil the experience of theatre. Sentiments I, I certainly agree with. They arguably constitute uh, spoilers, depending on the on the warning and the play. But at the very least, they, uh, a trigger warning places an emotional interpretation on a play before an audience has actually seen it. To be honest, I've not seen so many in theatre as I have in uh, poetry and open night, mic nights, where frequently the, the trigger warnings outlast the poem that they are warning you about in length, but also outlive them in the memory. The, the trigger warnings are often much more formally inventive and, uh, and uh, linguistically daring than the, the poems that follow them. I've also seen some poets struggle when their trigger warning ends up firing a blank. You know, a warning is also a promise. And if you promise your audience to strap in for highly disturbing scenes of trauma and erotic peril, and then your, your poem fails to disturb, you've only really unnecessarily drawn attention to your own lack of effectiveness. I agree with Ray Fiennes when he says, you know, theatre should shock, should disturb, should catch audiences off guard. And it feels like uh, trigger warnings are one of those aspects of modern performance where we've let our anxiousness about duty of care um, overtake the art itself. And to invoke, not for the first time, a line of Bridget Brophy's, in art, nothing goes beyond art.